All right, I'm on hole number two of the Gokasho nine hole cup. This is Gokasho Bay, hole number seven. Let's go look at it. Let's go check it out. Images brought to you by Golf Clash Notebook. Wish they'd update their site. I'm going to do a shot that's not on here. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this little area right here that runs up to the front. There's several holes in the game that we have like this. There's another part three I can think of that's shaped like this where you're coming in a, and then you come up a hill and you come down the other side and then the flag pulls down over here. And I see a lot of people hitting it on this side, which is, you can use this side right here if you use a lot of backspin, even though it's fairway, just like this area right here, because it drops down a lot when it comes to the green. If you hit this with a lot of backspin, you can use this area down here as a rough bump. And you have a very short window. So like if you're too far forward, it's hitting and it'll it'll respond almost normal. If you're too far back, you're hitting up here where it's a little flat and it'll respond like almost normal. But there is a small window here, just like a rough bump, that you can use the, the fairway as a rough bump on a really steep hill. And that's what I want to try. Now, here's the difficulty. This may work out like if we have a tailwind here, we may do, I'm going to do... I believe just like our raw elevation from like where we're teeing off to where we're ending up here is downhill. So I'm going to start off at a plus 10% and see where I'm at. And I really want to be cognizant of my bounce here because I you want to hit that small little target. But if we have headwind, I may up this just because it'll lay that ball down so much, especially if it is already downhill. So if it's headwind here, I may do a 30%, but I'll work my way I want to keep that in mind that if I'm going up against a headwind, I need I I should bump that up. We'll see how it plays out. But I do think we have a really good shot at hole in one here. I want to take a guardian. Must have a guardian in some bag. Ah, hold on. What kind of ball do I need here? Let me think. I have a Titan on there, and I know I'm not bringing a Titan. I'm going to bring a navigator to start off with. Thinking of the navigator as a low wind ball. <laughs> In one-on-one -on -one play, navigator has its place, but typically if you're bumping up to a one power ball, you're actually bumping up to a quasar because you need the side spins more important. But it has its place in tournaments for damn sure. Now you can see there's just a small little area down here. And it is real small. 2.5. So that'd be 2.75. There's 2.2. about two and a half rings and I have my calculator sitting right next to me and I didn't use it I have no idea why there's a small little window down there where you can do a rough bump and just come out the hole and you can get a better you can get a little bit better roll out than that where it's it's not doing that bounce One of the things that I did there is I moved it way over to the right and what I should have did was tried to put on the right hand side spin to try and get it as, as straight as possible so I didn't have to go so far to the right hand side. What's up Buster? See what my opponent's doing. Letting my dog in the house, sorry about that. The long pause. Some of the holes that are in this are just fun to play. So I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun today. There's a there's some of the holes that I'm gonna go. There's some shots I'm going for them. I need to go for them in this account because I'm not, that, that'll let me know like area Usually, like, there's a couple holes in here that I'm going to try a max overpower hookshot on. 
not sure how to work on days if we have headwind. We'll have to we'll have to definitely make adjustments as the wheat goes on. But usually it takes about three three times of taking a max overpower hook. Sometimes I catch it on the first time by and sometimes it takes me three. I especially like it when we can go out and you're playing with a teammate or a buddy. And they can take the shot and if they're off then you can make adjustments. So you basically get two shots for the price of one. All right, that was hole number two of Gokasha. Nine hole cup. Let's go Kasha Bay, hole number seven. Thanks for watching.